Well, I mean, for me, you know, as a physician and a scientist, you know, I, you know, I take care of children with leukemia, um, with relapsed leukemia, and I run a lab um, where we study the mechanisms behind cancer proteins and, and use chemistry and biophysics and analytical, analytical techniques to develop chemical tools to help us understand the cancer-causing pathways and hopefully try to drug them at the same time. This project in particular is geared toward multi-drug resistant, chemo-resistant, radio-resistant, you know, immunotherapy-resistant cancers. The idea essentially is that there is this garbage disposal system in all of our cells that's responsible for getting rid of proteins that are either old or that the cell doesn't need anymore. And um, it's a housekeeping job. And instead of having them do their normal daily activities, you could actually distract them and get them to target and destroy a disease-causing protein. And in doing that, we have come up with a way to have a drug that does three different anti-cancer activities. And so the idea here is that if we have one compound that activates three different signaling pathways, we're gonna be able to focus on delivering a drug that actually can pack the punch of three. So the other concept is to try to deliver multi-agent chemotherapy in the form of one drug. And the other benefit of that is that you know that all these pathways are being tickled in the same cell at the same time because it's all being done by one agent. I mean, the Harrington Discovery Institute grant, you know, has really done an enormous amount for this project. I mean, the first and most obvious thing is funding. You know, catalyzing a basic science project and turning it into something that's translatable into ultimately patient uh, level, the clinical translation, it's expensive. And when you have a new idea that you hope has the potential for clinical translation, you need funds to actually give it a chance. So for a project like this, where the focus is on early innovation and trying to let that innovation and creativity have a shot, um, that's where the Harrington Discovery Institute funds really have an enormous impact, because we wouldn't be able to really even consider putting forward a project like this until we achieve some of the endpoints that are the goal of this very grant mechanism. Having experts who have spent decades in the pharma industry who have made drugs, who have you know, seen drugs become FDA approved drugs, um, that's the type of know-how that we don't have. And so that's a huge advantage in having this type of support because we have these amazing advisors who have done this in their careers.